What is up, everyone? This is Donald with One and Mecca. Hi. If I could pick two adjectives to describe this chapter, they would be weird and annoying. If you were to define glass cannon, Sarah would be one of the first entries in the dictionary. A couple of units with faces appear, and because they have faces, we know that they are important to the story. Imagine trying to carry his fat ass. Get hype. What a chapter this is. This is, again, going to be a warp skip map. I can kind of imagine Asphalt just like farting Graph Caliber along. <laughs> chapter 12 is nightmare fuel for new players, and not just because it takes place in a dark, spooky forest. Yes, Fergus the hero, right? But he's not a hero because he sucks. Uh, he's, he's a free knight, he's not a hero. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm glad that we got Chapter 4x over with. It's completed in 8 turns. We'll see you next time. See ya, Seth. Uh, I guess I'm forced to come to the conclusion that you only use bad units, because I know Fergus would have just cut through him. And Leaf is surprised to find that many of his five move comrades have suddenly found horses randomly riding around, and he was just waiting for Delshin to finally move his ass around that place. Uh, also, the priest that is in front of the Duke Knight there is probably playing Pokemon Go and trying to hatch an egg. Tred's looking like a bit of a chump right now, because he's getting gangbanged by four armor knights. No, not Fergus. Fergus is awesome, please. Uh, and in this game, it's just a dude. Granted, it's the dude that stoned Avel. Spoiler alert, Galsus is her father, and they haven't no. seen each other for a long time. <laughs> Orson has rejoined us and he is ready to get some butt once again. The quantity 31 minus the unit's level, and quantity divided by the unit's class power. What's up to my fellow armchair tacticians? And this caused one of the enemy soldiers to be enticed by Safi's feminine form and try to claim her as his own. But Halvin saw this and was a bit enraged because he is a gentleman. And he walked up to him and gave him a good smacking across the face with an axe. So Safi is alright. What's up everyone? I accidentally didn't press play. This is Donald <laughs> on one and Micah. Wow Micah, I know that you're like the biggest Fergus fanboy on the face of the earth and you hate Orson, but that was some salty shit there. Uh, I thought you were a solid tactician. See you next time. Yeah, imagine Farn is just sitting there like, okay, I just stole all the warp staffs. Um, can I get out now, please? And no one's responding, so he just talks to the priest. He's like, um, dude. Can you please warp me out? I'll give you back your warp staff, just warp me out. The priest is like, no, and then Farn is like, well, if you don't, then I'll probably kill you. I want to give a shout out to Glaive. This chapter is notorious for being one of the most bullshit in the game, but I guess Leaf doesn't hear through all those walls. And before we finish up this chapter, we have to get the kids back to their houses. Did everyone escape? Uh, no, we left some scrubs behind. And the animations in the arena are also pretty funny. Of course, the animation, as awesome as it is, you don't really want to see it 16 times, but that's what happens when he never crits, ever. Uh, I like commentating chapter 20 a lot, actually. It was really fun to do with Arisa, and I liked it a lot more than this stupid chapter. I think the only good thing about this chapter is that Fergus is in it. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, those were some strong words from a salty Dutchman. Fuck but you. This is my playthrough. The first turn of this chapter is like a giant fuck you to all the scrubs who decide resolutely to never use your pre-promos because they suck up all of the experience. So Leaf has been chasing about the countryside, murdering soldiers of the Empire, using drugs, and looting villages at sword point. Now this might not be something you're familiar with in the Fire Emblem series, but yeah, Weapon Triangle is a thing in this game. And if I were a thief, I would really love to take a leg ring and be able to rate and run much faster. What's up all you viewers? I hope you grabbed some snack because you're in for 21 minutes of exciting Fire Emblem. Oh my goodness, do you see Asphalt not one round KO that Armor Knight? You know, my hypothesis is that that thief has some social anxiety disorder. They are still on the run from the big bad Raedric. So, Mako, what are we actually going for in this chapter? What is the end goal? Well, it's a prison break, so we need to escape. I don't know why they built red houses at all, because surely they're not resistant to armor knights. So I once accidentally like left everyone behind and then I realized that Parn was still there and I was like shit. Leaf is so excited to do this that he walks into the wrong direction. Oh my kid's been captured by the Empire and I'll never see him again. And you guys failed to save him. You call yourself a Liberation Army, get the hell out of here. It's probably gonna confuse you a bit more if I try to explain it any more in depth. But if you think about it for a moment, you'll probably understand what I mean. Yeah, it's kind of sexist that only boys are apparently curious enough to do this. An instant transition to puberty. So not only is Asphalt a manly man, but he's also a lot more self-conscious around women. He's not a dragon. He's not a thing that looks like a dragon. He's not a guy riding a dragon or possessed by a dragon. He's just a regular dude. I don't even want to call the cutscene, but they do some kind of thingy and they open the door and then they get scared and they run away. Attacking, dancing, going to the arena or using a staff brought to you by your two favorite people in the world, Donald Clyde 1 and Becca. Hi. His promoted Dark Mage costume 
Looks like a purple KKK robe. Two of the kids were just gonna let Broth in their prison cell. The sniper in the room that Dactar is currently attacking and filling TKO and Armor Knight in is modeled after Avel, who, spoilers, is supposed to be Bridget. From no! <laughs> Mega! Oh my god, it's Commander Sias! Everyone, let's charge and fuck these guys over! Asshole's gonna one hit KO him with a critical hit. If you do not free them, then if you visit those houses, the NPCs will just kind of tell you to fuck off. So my personal opinion, which may or may not be well known to the community, is that Carrion is garbage. So Mecha, can you explain to me what in Blaze is going on here? Wrath boosted Steel Axe criticals? Shout out to the power of planning by Gundam, because that's really impressive. Dagdar is trying to prove his manliness in a pretty outrageous way. They know that we're watching them because they have some performance anxiety and one of them misses. And as you're well aware, we are Donna of one and Mecca. I think that for noobs to this uh, game, this is like one of the times when they realize, they're like, shit, I'm, I can't win the game. Um, Safi, or as I like to call her, Staffy. Yeah, clearly I was on drugs here or something. And they have weird German numerics. At that point, you should really already have left the building, but um, thankfully this is a Donna playthrough. So we're already at turn 5 and we're escaping. So yeah, buy Dorkies, kids. They're good for you. I'm pretty amazed you can actually warp skip route splits in this game. Why does Leaf have to open the doors for his own castle? The answer is 4 times Tina, 6 times Salem. I gotta take a deep breath here, because this is one of the most infamous maps. I'd like to nominate Dagdar for worst dad of the year, because the situation in which he's putting Tanya, his very own daughter, even as a single dad, is just not acceptable. If you want to see Sad killing a Dark Bishop, um, you can go to chapter 23 and he does that pretty well there. Salutations to the fans of the emblem. You fucked up this recruitment, you let Fergus go, what's wrong with you? Yeah, so uh, if you've never played Thracia, this is probably one of the best chapters to watch. So, we're still watching the whole showdown between the green units and the red units. Essentially what happens is you throw in a defenseless young girl into a mob of violent, mean men, and you can kind of imagine what happens. Really slow moving units like this enemy general in the arena here, uh, are going to take forever to stab Astro in the face. He's just going to decide, fuck it, I'm going to fly over all of you guys. That's only with the uh, really crappy English patch too. That patch is of the worst quality imaginable, but whatever. Now in order to make sure that Shiva doesn't kill any of our units, or worse, kill himself. Yeah, we ain't that casual. And there's also this really big asshole sniper. I'm actually mad about this decision, because Fergus is easily the best unit in the game, and leaving him behind is probably the worst decision you've ever made in Fire Emblem. Actually, it's probably the worst decision you've made in your life. Please, please don't die, please don't get hit, please don't ruin this take. And he's modeled after Lithis, not Parn, even though Parn is infinitely more badass. Uh, I'm not ex too excited, I'm not sure why you are. The enemy AI in this game is quote-unquote smart. Even though you've probably never played this game before, you have no idea what's going on. The known the time waster. So nothing else. <laughs> Our brigand buddies aren't really doing that well against them either. Oftentimes, the Fire Emblem, uh, the game gives you advice, and it's in your best interest to ignore it. I think in general we can sum up FE5 as a big waste of time. Hey, Leaf's escaping. And we are bringing to you Chapter 24, my Fire Emblem 13, I mean 5, Paragon Mode, 0% Girls Playthrough. Uh, getting ahead of yourself there, huh? Instead, we're just going to warp asshole over like good old times. We're just going to spend as much time as possible doing grindy shit. Probably died of fatigue by doing that. So Leaf and company are still bumbling around through the Manster Castle. Oh shit, Armor Knights, better run away. If you put someone to sleep, you can't talk to them. Hey guys, this is Mecha, and I'm here without Don Don. You know, in the Game Boy Advance FE games, Paladins get like plus ones to all stats, and Paladins are a pretty good class, so correlation there, perhaps, maybe. Definitely. Asvel, he's not doing this just because he's feeling particularly edgy or murderous right now. So I hope you guys liked Sias because he's going to appear again in this chapter and this time he's going to be on our side. It is, but I guess in general FE7 is just easier than this game. Um, you might have noticed that Abel's not doing anything right now. That's because she went off and got stoned. Uh, it really does kill a lot of relationships and stuff. So she's very supportive, even if she's like in peril kind of like the best damsel in distress ever. And we are done with this playthrough. Can you believe it, Mecca? Because in 2016, a lot of things happened. David Bowie died, Donald Trump got elected president, and I finished this playthrough. Yeah, it was a very moving year, but this was probably one of the better things that happened this year.